Good everyone, today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to set up live split for Minecraft speedrunning with just a simple in game timer and real timer. I hope you enjoy the video, I hope it helps you, and let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just type in live split into Google like that. You click on the first link here, go to downloads, and download the latest version of live split. This will take about a minute. Alright, so once LiveSplit has fully downloaded, you'll find it in your downloads folder. You can either extract it all, or like me, select it all, and then copy it by either right clicking, pressing copy, or using just Control C. And then I'm going to go to my Minecraft folder. You can make a new folder or just put it in any Minecraft related folder you want. I'm going to make a new folder specifically for LiveSplit. And then paste all my live split stuff in there, which might take a while. Alright, so once you've got all of your live split stuff in the live split folder, you can actually put live split.exe wherever you want. That's what you're going to use to launch the program. I'm just going to keep it in here. And yeah, just double click live split.exe to launch it. It will take maybe 20 or 30 seconds to load. Alright, so once you open Live Split, you're just going to have this generic single timer. And to change that, you want to right click it and first off go to Edit Splits. Now type in Minecraft as the game name and then just give it a second. Sometimes it takes a minute to show up all of the options. There we go. Click on Minecraft Java Edition and then activate in game time here. It would be like that. Now, if I press OK, you have all these ugly things and it's a massive ass timer. Right click it again, go to edit layout, and leave timer, but pre select title, press minus, splits minus, previous segment minus. And now you're back to just the timer. Now press plus, go to timer, just a normal timer, double click that, and change this to real, to game time, sorry. Press OK. Double check that this one is on real time. And now you've got your two timers. One is real time, the top one, and the bottom one is in game time. Now you can also select the timers and adjust the height like so. So if I want to make this one massive for some weird reason, I can do that. But yeah, you'll just have the. You'll just be able to have the default two timers for speedrunning Minecraft. So now that you've got your timer sorted, the next thing you need to do is sort out your hotkeys. So go to settings, and as you can see, hotkeys, there are a whole bunch of different options. Now because we're not using splits, we've just got those two timers, we only need start slash split, reset, and pause. Um, I'd actually recommend not doing start slash split, as if you accidentally press the start button again, there's no way to restart it, it just resets the next time you press it. So I'm just going to leave that and make the pause button V. You can of course pick whatever you want. And I'll make reset 0 for example. And yeah, so now if I press if I press OK and press V, again I can just pause and unpause as much as I want. If I accidentally press it in game. And the last thing you want to do, going back into settings, is activate global hotkeys and make sure that this is not activated. And then, even when you're in Minecraft, playing Minecraft, the hotkeys will work for live split. Now, if I want to start my speedrun, I just press the hotkey to start the timer like this. And you can just pause any time to update the in-game time. Finally, to display live split on OBS to record. Um, you can either use display a display capture by going plus in sources and clicking on display capture, or you could go plus in sources again, window capture, type in live split, which has just started my timer because my hotkey is V, press OK, and then it will come up with live split here. Now, if you're on Windows and you've got this time, how the timer is only a quarter of the window. You can just change capture method to Windows, and then it will go the whole thing. 
press OK and then you can make it as big or small as you like. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, subscribing would mean a lot to me. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.